Hello everyone, I'm Lovro and welcome to part 2 of building my guitar pedal. has actually changed since the last video and today I'm going to show you what's new uh, it's still not over I still need to do maybe part 3 or even 4 but let's see what I have for now also if you didn't already you should definitely watch the first part of this video somewhere here so this is how it looked in that last video and now it looks like this as you can see this is the final product it's all on this small printed circuit board and the most important thing after a lot and a lot of troubleshooting, it finally works. There are actually roughly 40 revisions of this board, I think 44, 46. So 46 different designs to finally end up with this. And it's still not perfect, this board still has so many problems, but most of them, I think by now all of them, yeah, all of them are fixed. Uh, so the design and the board are really not quite perfect, but again, it's the first time so it currently works just as intended And that's the most important thing here. You can see some different designs of the board and dimensions of the case uh, Here is I think One that's yeah, it's again It looks totally different than this one and it still looks totally different than the final one This is the test this is very close to the final board but it's still yeah quite a bit different also here are a few different designs uh, which you can see this is uh, yeah this this was totally changed and this is again almost the final one but if you look closely it is a lot different actually not a lot but yeah and one thing that i'm actually really really proud of is that we made this board from scratch so it's not that we designed the board and then just give it to someone to make it and that's it. This was made from scratch, from the blank uh, copper plate. As you can see here is the first try, which actually end up looking quite good. The process of making this from scratch at home, it's quite... I mean, it's not that complicated, but if you're doing it for the first time, it can be quite confusing at times. So I'm just quickly going to explain the process as quickly as I can. First of all, when you finish your design, or at least when you think you have finished your design, you need to print it with a laser printer on a piece of paper. Then you will need a photosensitive copper plate, which you'll need to cut to the shape of your design. After that, you'll need to oil the paper, place it on top of the photosensitive board and put under the UV light. You can also use regular light, but the process will take longer. After that, you need to develop it in sodium hydroxide solution, and now you will hopefully see your design printed on a copper plate. If there are any mistakes, you can fix them at this point with the Sharpie. Then you put the board in a ferric chloride solution for etching. That can take quite a lot of time, but after that you'll have your finished printed circuit board. And don't be surprised if your first board fails, this board needed quite a lot of work to actually end up working correctly. So yeah, this board is not perfect, it has some quite big and actually stupid mistakes, but it is what it is, it works and that's the most important thing. Actually, it still doesn't quite work 100%, but I know exactly how to fix it. Let's just connect the board and I'm going to show you. Anyways, for now, none of this is connected to the board, so I need to have this um, breadboard with all the connectors and the power source. And now I need to connect all these wires to the breadboard. A few moments later. As you can see, now it's powered on and it should work technically. But if we turn on the volume on the guitar... Yeah. Also, if we change pickups... But I mean, this whole time it actually works. As you can see. So yeah, uh, I after a lot of troubleshooting, I actually managed to find the source of this problem. And it's this exact capacitor right there. So we just need to replace it and then we are good to go.
So as you can see, it basically works. It will work perfectly fine when it's all finished. Now the next part is we need to drill the holes in this case. And here are the exact dimensions. Uh, yeah, right here. And after that, uh, we need to paint the case and the letters and everything. But for all of that, unfortunately, we'll have to wait for the next part. So yeah, that's it. And I hope to see you in the next video really, really soon.